Right, well, good evening, everybody. Um, oh, let me just turn this music off. Good. E so, good evening. Um, welcome to the Blue Circle, as we call it. Um, you will notice that a dog walking around here. Charlie, come here. Come here. Come here. You will notice a dog in the picture periodically. Here he is, a little nutter. So um, he will get in the way, uh, but on circle nights he's not in here. So welcome to the blue circle. So basically, uh, what's happening here uh, is an evening where I'm just going to come on here and explain to you the plans uh, for our circle going forward into 2024. Uh, the blue circle started, we started sitting in 2008, 2009. Uh, to try to establish and make a connection with the spirit world um, and we've we sat for quite a while until we we broke up and then in 2014 we re-established and we've sat every week since then uh, and over that period of time since then until now so nine years we have established communication uh, with identities with people in the spirit world. Hi Pam, I can see you messaging and I can see Paul replying to you. Paul is our circle leader who's listening downstairs. Paul, if you could turn the, the speaker down a little bit, it would help. I can hear myself in the background. Um, so we established ourselves in 2014 and we've sat quite privately uh, for the duration of that time since 2014. Um, until recently, uh, in recent couple of years, we've started to put some communications out that we've received from the spirit world through the medium, through our, uh, well, through my own mediumship, uh, whereby we've put that out on general um, for people to hear. Um, but basically, we've been requested by our regular communicators, um, of which there are a few. We have Monty, uh, who sort of speaks delivers philosophy and common sense and things like that and then we have um we have anthony a little boy who tends to bring evidential communications messages from from loved ones or tries to establish that connection all of this is done in the trance state i should add and um, so my trance state has developed over the last 10 years well the last 12 years but certainly the last nine years uh, predominantly as we've sat weekly. Um, so really, it, this is just an introduction as to what we're going to be doing in 20, uh, 2024, because uh, a recent sit-in, it was requested that we somewhat open our circle up to the public. Um, and the only way we can think to do this is using this method that we're using now, which is through Facebook and social media, YouTube, things like that. So that is the plan. Um, it's what we've been asked to do. Everything we do in this circle, we do because our friends in the spirit side in the next world have requested us to do it. We don't do anything unless they ask us to. And this is what's been requested of us. So basically, um, as of the 2nd of January, Tuesday, the 2nd of January, the first Tuesday in January, uh, we will be live. Every sitting we do will go live on Facebook, unless for whatever reason there isn't a circle that night, of which occasionally in a year there might be the odd Tuesday night missed for, you know, uh, sickness or personal reasons. But, you know, nine times out of ten, we sit on a Tuesday night at eight o'clock. Um, so we've been asked to make our circle available and available to everybody. Uh, the question is, why are we doing this or why have we been asked to do this? And it's very simple, um, although it was quite unexpected. The reason Monty has asked us to do this is there are a lot of people in this world and we've had messages uh, within this group people asking uh, I want to sit in a circle but there isn't one I can't get to a circle uh, people who've said that they're too old to travel uh, or can't travel uh, people who are unwell 
you know, and, and or homebound, you know. So there's many people who sit, who've wanted to sit in a circle, or people who've sat in a home circle, uh, but now aren't able to for various reasons, you know, it could be age and mobility or anything like that. So the whole point of this, according to Monty's discourse a few weeks ago, was that doing this would allow those who can't be in a home circle uh, and those who are unable to be in a circle, this will allow those people to be part of a circle. So what we're saying is, as of Tuesday, the 2nd of January, the first Tuesday in January, at 8 o'clock, which is when our circle always sits, we will go live weekly. Uh, we will, it, 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 this is your opportunity, effectively, to be, if you like, an honorary member of our circle, albeit from a distance online. This is an opportunity for you to close the door at home, uh, sit in the quiet, uh, connect with us on here. Hopefully, we'll also be able to connect on YouTube with a secondary with a second device. But you too can be part of a circle. Many people have said they wanted to be in a circle, uh, don't know how to be, can't be, don't know how to find one. Well, this is a way of doing that for you. That's why we're doing it. It's so that people can feel that they are part of a circle. You will effectively become a member for, of the Blue Circle, which I think is a lovely idea. Uh, it's not something that uh, I personally would have considered. Uh, it's not something that had ever crossed my mind uh, and certainly isn't something that cr I don't think crossed the mind of any of the sitters within this circle. Um, but when it was requested a few weeks ago, it was a real eye-opening moment and it was a, a, a nice thought. Uh, it demonstrates and illustrates how the spirit world uh, are aware of our technology, aware of what we're capable of doing with it for the good. Um, in this circle, we've established over the years, we've established evidential communication. Um, we've had loved ones communicate. We have had independent direct voice uh, in which uh, a voice was once heard communicating from just up in the corner there. Uh, it only ever happened once, very briefly, but it happened all the same. We all heard it. So I heard it. Um, I wasn't in a, a trance state at that point. But this whole purpose is for you to feel that you are a member of a circle, that you can sit with a circle and that you can be a part of a circle. That's what this is about. Um, so we hope that you will uh, embrace this opportunity. Uh, there's actually 1,500 people who are a member of this, uh, this group now. So that's quite a lot of people. Now, I know some of those people will be what you call them, robots and scammy, spammy things that we have to keep our eye on, but there's a lot of people in this group who would like to sit. So this is your opportunity Tuesday night in as of the new year, Tuesday nights, eight o'clock when we sit, you are welcome to connect with us. Uh, now I must stress that some weeks there is no communication. Um, some weeks it goes on for, for, you know, for a number of weeks where there's no communication. Um, some weeks there's plenty of communication. So it varies. Um, so in which case, uh, you know, you're, uh, uh, you, you will be sitting in here in relative silence, apart from the music in the background. That's uh, what you'll get, a true experience of sitting with a home circle. Um, now, we will sit in darkness each week. There's reasons for that. Uh, when this circle was formed, it was designed uh, and intended that we would sit for physical mediumship. Now, for those of you who are watching now and don't know what physical mediumship is, uh, many people don't, or they have a very uh, m a large misunderstanding as to what it is. Physical mediumship is when the spirit people communicate uh, in a physical 
literally physical manner. They might move objects in the room. Uh, for instance, this is a spirit trumpet. It's basically a megaphone. Um, it has a luminous end on it. And if developed correctly, the spirit people can levitate the trumpet and it can move around the air independently on its own uh, using um, energy that they harness and they can create an artificial voice box in the thin end and they can make their voices, their own voices, audible to everybody in the room. Um, this still happens, I've witnessed it uh, on many occasions uh, with other physical mediums. So that sits here. Um, now, physical mediumship can only happen uh, in total dark conditions. Um, I say this loosely because over the passage of time, light can be introduced, but virtually all physical mediums, virtually all, start in the dark, in a dark room. So we sit in the dark. Uh, when I say the dark, I mean there is not so much as a pinprick of light in this room. So we've made it possible to put this camera um, in such a way that it won't emanate light into the room when you sit with us. So you'll hear us, but you won't see us because there is nothing to see. We're in the dark. So that's basically how it will work. Um, darkness is essential because the energy that they use to make physical manifestations, whether it, it's a full figured the full figure who appears in the room, whether it's the trumpet taken off, whether it's just the voice happening independently in the room, uh, or whether any other form of physical, um, uh, anything physical may happen, uh, it all requires energy, and that energy requires darkness in its initial stages. Um, when I say initial stages, for some mediums, it's been decades that they've sat in the dark. So that's why we'll be sitting in the dark. Uh, so you understand that, because uh, that is important that you understand. Uh, but nonetheless, you'll hear us. You could turn the lights down in your room, relax, put some quiet music on, whatever, uh, and be with us. So that's the whole point. Um, now in, in our circle, uh, we have uh, three of the sitters. Uh, the, uh, one of those sitters is Paul, who I'll introduce you to in a moment. Uh, Paul is the circle leader. He operates the music. He'll open the circle and he'll close the circle on this side of life. And I say this side of life because that's important. I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, and then there are two of the sitters. Now, it's only correct, I should point out, that not everybody will want their identity known. Uh, in an ideal world, I wouldn't want my identity known, but it's essential that we do this in order to uh, to explain to you how it's all going to work. So otherwise you won't understand. So, um, so this is why we're doing what we're doing. So uh, basically that's what will happen. So Tuesday, the 2nd of January, and every Tuesday thereafter, uh, this is what we will do. Uh, this is how it will work. We will come into this room as we always do. Uh, this video will go live 10 minutes before, so that gives people time to log on and to be present. Uh, then the screen will go dark. You won't see anything, but you will hear it. Um, Paul will open the circle, as he always does. And if communication is to happen, then that will happen uh, and of its own accord if it needs to and if it's supposed to. Uh, the people who will open, who work with us from that side of life, from the spirit side of life, include a, a native man called Flatfoot. He always opens the circle from their side and he always closes the circle from their side usually followed by Anthony, who's a little boy. Uh, as I said, Anthony tends to be the one who brings evidential communications to people in the room, but we don't know what the overall possibilities are as to whether he might be able to extend evidential communication outside of this room to people listening in. Um, that will be discovered as we go along. 
And then there's Monty. Monty is responsible for bringing, we'll call it philosophy, uh, but I think it's better to call it common sense because a lot of the philosophy I hear out there tends to be gobbledygook. His philosophy is certainly not. It's very simple, very clear to understand, uh, and very commonsensical. So that's basically it. That's the plan. Now, from here on, it's up to you uh, at home how you choose to go ahead with this, whether you turn up every Tuesday and sit with us. In this side of life, uh, a circle is a very committed thing. We, with exception to a work commitment or perhaps sickness, a holiday, that kind of thing, a circle sits every week at eight o'clock on a Tuesday night. And we don't miss circle unless we have to, or, you know, unless it's absolutely necessary. Other things uh, might get moved in life, but we tend not to move this. So we should more or less always be here. Um, and this is your opportunity to commit and be a part of this. So we hope that uh, that's what you'll do. Uh, and we hope that you'll uh, come and join us as of the 2nd of January. Now, I think it's important now to show you a little bit about this room uh, that we use. This room has been dedicated to sit as a circle uh, since 2014 we've sat in here. Uh, it's just a box room at the at home um but it's been dedicated uh, for this purpose for a long time so what i'll do is i'll i'll stand up and i'll show you around the room i'll flip the camera around so you can see what it's all about and what it's i should just have you know that these are speakers and an amplifier uh, not to create weird voices but because my actual job is a musician so uh that is an amount of equipment that is stored in this room uh, but if i was to walk into the room from outside you would come in uh, from outside uh, here you have a, a curtain on the outside of the door to eliminate light and door and then you come into the room and we have a secondary curtain on the inside once again to eliminate any light coming into the room uh, we have some spirit guide drawings. That one is from 1978, which my circle leader, Paul, had drawn at that time. Uh, and we do have some various items here. There's an Indian headdress, dream capture. These were given as gifts to us from people. I think that was given to me by my mum, actually, and the headdress uh, by Nabs, who's a friend of ours. Uh, so these are what you have over here. There's the music player. We have some more spirit art down here that's waiting to be hung. And that's the spirit trumpet. This is our current medium taking his seat in the chair. Is there anybody there, Charlie? Is there anybody there? Clearly not. Um, recorder, circle leader's chair, and our two other sitters' chairs are here. Up on the wall, we have some spirit art that was drawn for us by our friend Sandy Ingham. Uh, for those of you who know Sandy, she is uh, a spirit artist. She goes into the trance state and in the trance state, her guide, Leo, takes control of her hands and draws. Uh, up here, you'll see two plastic cable ties. These were these are two were two individual loops. Um, Originally, they were on the table as two individual loops uh, side by side. The light went off. This, this happened at Stuart Alexander's home circle. The light went off. There was a click on the table. And Walter Stinson, his spirit guide, his, who controls much of the phenomenon in his room, had interlinked them for us as he said he would. And they've remained that way now for probably about 12 years. So they hang up in this room as well. So there they are. Uh, to explain to you the structure, that is my chair. And this is what you call a spirit cabinet. Um, now this is... Uh, the purpose for a spirit cabinet is that when you are developing physical mediumship, the energy that would be used to uh, make physical manifestations happen... 
uh, often referred to as ectoplasma or ectoplasm, uh, in order for the spirit people to create a full formed materialized person, they often need the energy in a more condensed place uh, around the medium. And in this instance, uh, the a spirit cabinet would might be used. Uh, it is basically a boxed structure, um, as you can see, a box structure uh, with a curtain at the front and the medium sits within it. Um, the energy that can then be harnessed and condensed together so that a full formed person, a spirit person in full solid form can walk out of the cabinet and walk amongst the room. So if four of you were sitting in the room, suddenly there would be a materialized solid fifth person temporarily in the room and that would be your spirit person. So uh, now we've not had that. I mean, that is the creme de la creme of mediumship, the jewel in the crown, if you like. I mean, if your dead mother suddenly stepped out and stood in front of you, real and solid, you, you would not deny the survival beyond death, would you? And that's the whole purpose of it. So that's why we sit for physical mediumship. Now, I'm just going to spin it back round. I'm going to nudge the dog out of the seat. Uh, I'll bring the camera back round. There we go. So jump out, child. Let me have my seat back. So basically, that's that's the room, and that's where we, this is where we sit on a Tuesday night. So for anybody who's heard our recordings online before, um, this is where we sit. Um, and for those of you who haven't met me, it's my math that the communications come out of so that's it basically um now the other person to introduce you to now will be our circle leader so let me move that around again and i'll spin it around this is paul sitting in his foot banging his head as usual and sitting in his usual position uh manning the recorder um and manning the desk uh and the light so just to demonstrate, say hello, Paul. Hello. There you go. You, I take it you can all hear it. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, we can say hello to uh, to Pam, Emma, Norma, Mike. I think that's it so far. Yeah, welcome to you all. Really, to the whoever wants to listen to it and be part of it throughout the whole world. I mean, it's just it's just going to be wonderful. Yeah. It's all good. Well, in which case, I'm just going to demonstrate to everybody how this uh, room works when we sit. Uh, you'll be sat there, Paul. Yeah. Um, one of our other sitters will sit here. Our other sitter will sit here. And then I'm usually last in the room. Uh, the process is that outside the back, the curtain goes down outside the door. The door gets closed and the next curtain gets dropped down uh, i usually put something at the bottom and that achieves the uh the the black the blackout of the door that is necessary to create the uh the dark conditions that we need um so then we have the selection of lights. Uh, this is a red light. Now, it's fully thoroughly understood that red light is the lowest, slowest frequency of light. And when physical mediumship has been developed to a good enough standard, and when light is to start being introduced, uh, a red light would be turned on. Um, a very, very low, dim red light to start with, hopefully increasing and getting stronger as it goes, uh, as development progresses and unfolds. Uh, so that's the, the purpose of that. Um, so I'm gonna switch off now the white light in the room, which is this one. And there you have, we're now in dim light. Uh, so, is your phone working, Paul? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. You're not touching anything odd, are you? No, okay. That's all right, because I'm getting a weird 
message pop up. Uh, so there's your red light, and this is where we would sit. And Paul would then start open the circle by turning the red light off. Paul, if you'd like to turn the red yeah, light down. And with that, the room is plunged into absolute darkness. Now, it's not totally dark for me because uh, the the backlight of the of the tablet that I'm using is is currently shining. But for you, it should be pretty much total darkness. And that's it. And it's from this point on that Paul opens the circle from our side. The music will go on and then we sit and we wait. And that's all we do. We don't summon anybody. We don't chant. We don't uh, speak in tongues. We don't invoke the archangel, this, that, or the other. We don't wave any silver daggers in the air. We don't do anything peculiar. We just put some music on. We sit and we wait. It is literally as simple as that. If communication is to be established, then usually for me the sensation is that I will start to feel heavy in my mind uh, and then I start to feel a pull in my stomach, uh, like a wrench, usually accompanied by a kind of a jolt, which you often hear the chair jolt, and then gradually my mind gets heavier quite rapidly used to be very slow but these days it's rapid uh in fact paul do you want to pop that light back up yeah. all right i'll just stick that one up. uh i'll spin the camera back around so you're all back with us um but ultimately uh my mind will get heavy and as it gets heavy um so i will feel those are the people pressing in, usually behind me. Um, when I say behind me, I mean at the back of my head, not my back or anywhere else, back of my head. It's like a push. And as that happens, I feel detached from me. And then suddenly a flow starts. I can only describe it as that. There's no other description for it. Um, and then communication will establish. That's if it happens. When it doesn't happen, uh, sometimes I have missing time. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm just here for the whole duration. It all depends. The, we don't have uh, people come through every single sitting. There are what we call blank sittings. They're not blank. It just means that they are working where they are uh, at, to, to develop this circle and just don't feel the need or the necessity to come and talk. Uh, sometimes they're busy working, like any of us would be doing. You know, it's sometimes you've got a busy day at work, you don't want to be distracted. They're just the same. So that's basically it. There isn't any more to it. Uh, that's what will happen. Uh, we don't know how it'll evolve. I mean, we. This is open to everybody, so if you know other people who are interested in, in joining, then you should let them know, because this is, you know, through this group, and hopefully through YouTube, I'll be able to go live on there as well. Uh, this will allow people to communicate, uh, to, to join us and be part of a circle uh, and experience what we all experience, which is sometimes nothing and sometimes everything. So there you have it. Um, I don't see anybody putting any questions in the bottom uh, of this. I um, don't think anybody's asked any questions as such, have they? Uh, no, Emma's mentioned somebody that she knows who might be interested. Yeah, but nobody's actually mentioned the question. No, nobody's no. asked any so questions. I haven't no. seen anything. So, so that's fair enough. Um, that's all we can say. So Tuesday, the 2nd of January... Uh, incidentally, Paul won't have his phone on unless the spirit people instruct him to turn his phone on to see if you've asked anything during our sittings. Uh, 
Otherwise, lights will be going on and off and on and off all, all through, and you can't have that. We've still got to keep to the purpose of why we develop, set this circle up, which is to develop physical communication. That is the purpose of this circle, ultimately, is to develop, or that was the purpose of reason for starting it, was to develop physical communication. That's why we sit in the dark. Um, and that's why... Uh, even as a trans medium, I prefer to sit in the dark. I bring this subject up just briefly, why it comes to my mind. Because I have seen people online saying, if you're a trans medium, you don't need to sit in the dark. It's unnecessary. Why would you want to? Uh, very simply, because that is how I've sat for the last 10 to 12 years. That is how I've developed, and that is my comfort zone. I'm well aware that I don't have to sit in the dark, but it's where I'm most comfortable sitting. It's where my mind is best conditioned to sit. Uh, and I have sat in light and I can sit in light. I just don't enjoy it. Simple as that. So the darkness, uh, if I was just sitting for trance, the dark on a normal situation, the darkness would be for my benefit and my benefit alone, not for them. But in the instance of the home circle, we're sitting to develop physical communication we want to hear the spirit people speaking in their own voices we want to uh, feel them touch us with their own hands uh, we want physical communication and that can only be achieved in darkness and trance is the stepping stone towards that so that is where we're at so what will happen who knows we don't have a clue uh, all we know is we've been asked to open this circle up to the public, which is what we're doing. And uh, that is the whole point of it. Nothing more to it than that. We are opening the circle to everyone. You effectively all become honorary members of the Blue Circle in the UK. Simple as that. Nothing more to it. Uh, so that's it. I don't think there's anything else to say, yeah. is there? No, I think look forward to, to you joining us for from next year uh, next year onwards for virtually every Tuesday. We'll, we'll look forward to that. If Monty or any of the other people who communicate through our circ uh, through the mediumship, through my my mediumship, if they request uh, to speak, um uh, if um, if they request to speak, uh, if, if they request to hear any comments that you've put on, questions or anything like that, then they will ask Paul to put his phone on. So you should assume that we can't read what your um, messages will be until we're instructed to. Um, like I said, everything we do in this, uh, we do under the spirit world's guidance. We do as they, as they ask. Uh, we don't over-assume. It's not our place to overassume. The spirit people will tell us what they want, when they want it, and we do it. I can so. just mention here, uh, uh, there's a question from, from Jackie. Jackie, you say, I understand sitting for a while in the dark, but not for the whole session. Well, that will be up entirely up to, the, to our spirit friends what they want. Sometimes they will ask for the light to go on. Yeah. Um, other times they don't. So we'll just have to uh, leave it with them to, to advise us. Yeah. And just in case we've misunderstood the question there, the, the reason why you would sit some of the time in the darkness, if, you, if by that, Jackie, you mean um, any week, why would you sit some of the time in the dark? And any week, why would you not sit some of the time in the light? The light stays off unless the spirit world asks us to turn the light on. Uh, physical mediumship is developed in the dark. I'll, I'll come back in case you've missed that bit. But we're sitting to develop physical mediumship, which requires energy, often referred to as ectoplasm. That is light sensitive. And as a result, uh, light cannot be in the room. Now, if the spirit people ask us to put the light on, which they do, they have asked us to do in the past. Could you put the light on? Feel free to have the light on. Uh, and Paul will switch the light on. Otherwise, we don't put it on. So that that is how it works. We 
we were instructed in 2014 to form our circle. We were told to form it. We were told to sit on a Tuesday. We were told to sit at eight o'clock. We were told to sit in the dark. We were told to sit, wait, and they will further instruct. And since that day, we have sat on a Tuesday at eight o'clock in the dark. We've waited and they have further instruct. So we do nothing of our own accord unless they tell us to. This is their laboratory. Uh, as Alan Crossley said, and as Stuart Alexander, who uh, is uh, physical and transmedium, very well respected in the UK, uh, as Alan Crossley used to tell him, this is their, labor their la laboratory. Uh, and we don't know what it is they do, how they do it, etc. We just don't know. It's as simple as that. We really don't know. So we leave it to them. So I hope that answers that. Uh, if they want the light put in on, we will put the light on. Otherwise, as standard, the light will stay off. But you will be able to hear. We can't see anything if we're sitting in the dark, nor can you. So it's that simple. Uh, but you can hear. You'll be able to hear the communication. The words and the message is far more important than being able to see a, a semi-dark room or even a room with partial red light on. So you're not losing anything. So I hope that uh, answers that. Um, so, yeah. Anything else? I think so. I, think, I know Monty said he, he will he will give a, first of all, when we, first, when we sit for the first time next year, he is going to give a talk. Then after that, he's going to open up the circle for anybody to to ask questions. Okay. Which uh, which will be very very interesting. News to me. <laughs> it's the first I've heard of it. So uh, yeah, so there we go. Yeah. Or just say also, there's some other names coming up here. Just say hello, good evening, hello, Phil. I missed uh, missed you earlier on. Um, Norma, hi hi. Bev, yeah, so it'd be really, oh, uh, yeah, be really nice to Amanda, uh, be really, and Jackie, <laughs> crumbs of quite a few now. Yeah. So we're all look forward now to um, for you to sitting with us next next year. Wonderful. It's amazing everyone comes online, mm -hmm. just as I'm about to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that answered your question, Jackie. Uh, I wasn't sure whether how you were putting that question to us, whether we, you were asking whether we should sometimes, why, why don't we sit some of the, the night in the light, and so, or whether you were asking, you know, just for this, for one occasion, or whether you meant constantly. So I'm not, I wasn't sure. So I've tried to answer that from both sides. Uh, so, yeah, in fact, I can see Amanda Seal is logged on. Hello, Amanda. I know you. And also, hello, Rod. And Rod that, Beach. Yeah, lovely. Great. So that's it. Um, I'm dragging this out because I can see people are still online. I don't know if there's any questions anyone wants to put um, to us. Um, oh, hang on. I've never followed the rules and that things happen, actually. As a physical medium myself, I've never followed the rules and let things happen naturally. Well, that's quite the same here, Jackie. Uh, we don't follow the rules. We just follow the advice of our spirit team. Simple as that. So, um, yeah, great that you've had um, good results and phenomenon, really chuffed. Um, and that's what we hope to achieve as well. We've had some results, but, you know, they've happened uh, and are past tense now. So, um, yeah. But this is it. This is, you know, no one's forcing anyone to be on this group and no one's forcing you to watch any of you. So it's an invitation. It's an open invitation uh, to sit with us and be a part of it. Uh, for some people, it, it will be very important to them. Uh, some people haven't been able to sit in a circle for years or never been able to find one or a group of people. This is a step in that direction for them and for you guys who might want to who might want to uh you know feel that you are part of a circle to to connect with a circle in some form um there are you know so many reasons why people can't join a circle um 
and the spirit people seem to be well aware of that. So uh, based on that, feel free to join us. So I think, yeah, we'll log off from here. It's been um, really just an, an induction, for want of a word, uh, an introduction, uh, an opportunity just to sort of explain why we're doing what we're doing. I mean, in an ideal, in some respects, in an ideal world, this work, this circle would not be doing this you know i would not be doing this this is not um something that i would uh, go out of my way frankly to do um but we've been requested to do it and it's no big deal to do it for us uh it's not something that ever crossed our mind it might happen uh but monty has requested that we do this so it's with um uh it's with somewhat excitement uh, and maybe a bit of trepidation, I don't know, that we do this. So we look forward to it. And uh, that will be Tuesday, the 2nd of January 2024, the first Tuesday sitting of the year, and then every Tuesday from there on, unless we tell you otherwise. So I hope that uh, helps. I hope that encourages you. Um, um Put it in your diary, because we'll be here every week, even if you're not. Uh, anyway, all good. Thanks you very much for uh, for your time. Um, thanks for your questions and 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 uh, thoughts and inquiry, and uh, and we'll go from there. And let's just see what happens. So, if you choose to be here on the, on Tuesday the second of January, then uh, we look forward to welcoming you uh, to be a honorary yet. Yeah distant but honorary member of the blue circle in the uk here in the uk so uh yeah i think it'll be a nice thing so uh that said good night and if we don't speak before have a nice christmas a lovely new year and we'll see you on the other side <laughs> not literally <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you on the other side. Not just yet. Yeah, not just yet, I hope. Uh, but we'll see you on the other side of uh, of 2023. So thanks very much. Lovely to see you, Amanda. Thanks for your question, Jackie, uh, and others. And, uh, you know, uh, keep in touch. If anyone wants to, feel free to contact or keep posting in the group anything of interest. Um, and we'll go from there. So lovely meeting you anyway. And... Uh, Cheerio for now. All right. Good night, all. Good night. Daddy, bye. I'm turning this off now. Bye. Oh, and I should just say goodbye from the dog. Here you are. Seance room dog. There seems to be a massive energy lying on the floor here. He won't be in the room, by the way. <laughs> anyway, cheerio, folks. <laughs>